Okay, here's the deal. My friend and I are at one of his relative's houses. There's two ponds, okay? I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute. Okay. There's that pond right there. It's, a, it's small, but they said that there is bass, bluegill, and catfish in there. Then there's another pond that way. I gotta go up to the car. Uh, we're both gonna be wearing a chesty. We're gonna go in between both chesties. Uh, I gotta grab the rods and get everything set up. And I'll keep you guys updated. I will tell you all the stuff we have. Just let's let's get this going. I know you guys want to know what we have for gear, so uh, I have a heavy, a heavy, a medium spinner bait, jig, and Texas rig frog. He's got four rods, Texas rig popper, spinner bait, chatter bait. What we're gonna do, like I said earlier, is we're gonna walk down to this pond and see if we can't catch some. Dude, that, that giant thing throw the frog in there you guys you guys can't see that but there's a giant frog right there hey cast it to the frog right there that frog's gonna attack it oh <gasps> that frog's trying to attack the artificial frog what the heck okay anyway you guys we're, we're gonna we're gonna get to fishing now that was that was kind of crazy wait are you gonna start you gonna start with a chatterbait yeah. all right he, you're gonna start with the chatterbait i'm gonna throw a spinnerbait what the these frogs are insane. I just oiled my reel, that's why I turned it back up. Nailed it. Oh, he, I missed him. Got one, there he is. First fish, not a bad way to start. Little guy, but I'll take it. Even though it's a little guy, I'll still show you guys. Kind of toss him back in there. Okay. Should tie in a Senko, but I'll wait. Got one. It's a dink. It's a dink. Another little guy. God, how are you? Ah, just two small ones so far. Hey, oh, I missed one. That was a good one. Oh, did you get him? Oh yeah, he's hooked up to a fish. There we go. Not that time. Yeah, not a huge one, but uh, it's a start. There's one, another one, Texas rig. He's got a little mark on him there. I know I did, I missed him. There, I got him. Another little guy. Alright you guys, we're gonna pack up, get in the car, go to a different spot. We caught a few fish, caught some fish, but 
nothing with any real size to it and we want to we want to get more for this video so we'll see you guys at the next spot all right spot number two and we've been here before the reason why we came back is because we think we can do a little bit better than we did last time you tell me what are we supposed to do now because so far the video's shot you tell me Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and fish, dude. It's fine. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but go ahead. You're fine. I know. No, you're good. Fish. You can go wherever you want, dude. Yeah, we'll get you on film, but it'll be fun. Just don't step on those fish. You guys ever catch fish out here? Yeah, I caught a 400 today. This morning? Yeah. Caught that right here. Wow. What the hell is on my ear? Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, we have like, we have like, we have three bags. We have three bags. Dude, that's a giant bluegill. Yeah. Right in front of you. Oh my God. Really? Yeah, and no, no. All right, dude, look it. Yeah, I, I can see them. Down there, you can see them? Yeah. There's a giant bluegill. There, there's a bed that the bass got swim away from. And the, the huge bass I caught, he was right there. Over there. Like, our lines got tangled. We were both trying to catch at the same time. Our lines got tangled, and I saw him eat the worm, and I just hooked him. Ouch. Dude. You just tried to cast live bait on a bait caster. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? It's out now. I, I can do time. this. I just gotta turn the brakes on. Look at that big bluegill. Oh, he did. He did. He did. Look at that. Give me a second. I'm going to grab the camera. Take him. Yeah, you're up. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, especially from Michigan. Let's get the release. Wait. Okay, go. Hold on a second, dude. Well, got one. <laughs> you got bait, man. I got the tiniest fish of the day. Get me a Gamagatsu hook. I'll put it through the back, and I'll go get me one with a bobber. <laughs> there he goes. I need to get one more and then I'll be satisfied for the day. I'm just kidding. No, go out there, man. Let some line out. Yeah, there you go. I know. Just give me a second. Oh, really? Come on. So how does it feel to catch fish that big on 17 pounds? Oh, wait, that's 17 pound test? <laughs> oh, you dude, you're crazy. Here, watch. There's another one. No, oh, oops. I didn't mean to drop the fish. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Oh, well, there he goes. Look at that bluegill, dude. Bluegill on a hook with a night crawler on a bait caster. This is not what we came here for, but what in the world? Give me that pole so I can catch one. Okay. Got a video. We, got a fish. we have no idea what is going on right now. We came here to bass fish, and now all of a sudden, these young anglers basically came down with live bait. Here, come here. Show the camera that. Hold it up to the camera. And now we're catching bluegill. Uh, these two young anglers and the guy that just backlashed with live bait. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, he hit it right there. Oh, he stole the worm. No. Where's the worms at? Don't have any more. That was it. I Dude. I'll have to get some. You have to go get us more. They don't have any more. Those kids are out, so I'm trying to tell you. Okay, we're out of worms, so literally, I'm gonna walk over here, turn over some logs, and uh, try to find us another worm or something, see what we can come up with here, see what we can do. We'll start here with this big thing. Oh, there's one right there. All right, got one. There's one. There we go. 
and I have some worms here. Now we can commence back to fishing. Oh, come on, come on, big one hit it, big one hit it. There he is. Oh, look at that guy. Wait, oh no, no, he's, he's no, 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 don't go in. He's peeing on me. I'm trying to grab him by the mouth, but I can't. Look at that bluegill. Some big bluegills. There he goes. Here, let's catch him. Got him. Got another one. And that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful bluegill. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna tie in this rooster tail uh, to my medium rod, and I'm gonna try and catch a bluegill with a rooster tail. He just, what, what did you just catch? What did you just, it, what the? I didn't even get a chance to cast a rooster tail. What did you just? Crap, our GoPros just died. That's a one pound bluegill. It is? Look at the size of that, hold on, I'm gonna zoom in on him. All right, now I'm gonna try the rooster tail. No idea if it's gonna work. Yeah. It worked and I got him. I got it. Oh. Yeah. That's two casts in a row on the rooster tail, no. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. That's a nice one. No, it came off. No, that was a nice one. Dude, you just had a nice fish. No. Oh, he's got he's got it. Oh, dude, I'm going to help you with that. Oh, dude. All right, bring it here. Okay. Hold on. Whoa, he just got one. Here, dude, you want you want to hold your fish? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm good. Another another nothing huge, but another nice bluegill. He just caught it on the uh, on the spinning reel with a piece of a night crawler. Something different for a change on this channel. Let's get him back in there. Not even paying attention, and he just caught another good one. All right, you guys. Thank you for the thank you for the worms and the hooks. Have a good one, you guys. All right, you guys. That is going to be it for us for the day. Thank you, you guys, for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you also enjoyed the variety. It's, it's something diff different, something I don't do much of. So I will see all of you guys next time. Hopefully with bigger bass.